Hi guys, Barnaby outside White Hart Lane. It's just finished Tottenham nil, Everton nil. I've got Niall and Kyle with me. Kyle, first of all, which one's Kyle, which one's Niall, most importantly? Okay, Niall, I'm going to come to you first. Apologies, but you, re you really should have named your son the same as your own name, basically. But anyway, uh, how do you feel about that goalless draw coming out? A bit disappointed, but I think we played really well. So I really enjoyed the game. Um, good chances. Um, Chamber didn't go in, but I'm happy overall. Yeah, I think better teams than us will lose to Everton this year. Uh, they're a well-organised team. Mate, what did you think about that? I mean, uh, you know, let's try and remain positive. I mean, Harry Kane had a couple of great chances, didn't he? Do you think the goal's coming for him? Yeah, I think a goal's going to come for him soon. I mean, you can't have this goal this drought forever. And I think I mean, he needs support, really. Um, yeah. Maybe I think Clinton and Jai, I heard he was a fit today. Yeah. And so maybe he might play next week and he can have some support, maybe. And yeah. It feels to me a little bit like without Christian Eriksen, we're lacking that bit of guile in the final third. No one to kind of unlock the door. Um, Ryan Mason played OK just behind Harry Kane, I thought. But, you know, do you think we need another one player in who can really unlock that if, if Christian's not around? Um, definitely. But we, we were chatting during the game and they was, that, that, that in the final third, we struggled, I think, to get the ball through. One, one ball through, first half, one one for Harry. That was the one, I think. Um, but, yeah, without Christian, we did struggle to unlock him. All right, guys, let us know if you agree with what Niall and Kyle have to say in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, at TV. Thanks a lot, guys. Pleasure.